we're quite a small team of Arctic researchers at the Proudman Oceanographic Lab, but we collaborate with researchers from other places within the UK and also internationally. As an ice modeler, I work on computer simulations of the ocean and the sea ice that forms up in the Arctic. The experiments I run look at how the sea ice has been changing as the, the world's been warming, and then I compare my modelling results, my simulations, with observations that have been made from satellites and from ships going out and measuring the temperature and salinity of the ocean. We know that tides have an impact on sea ice as the, the tide comes in and out, there's extra melting of the sea ice and the tides can open up areas within the ice and cause the breakdown of the ice. So I want to include the effect of tides on our computer models, our simulations of what goes on in the real world and see whether it's an important point to include in climate predictions. So I'm doing this because we want to be able to predict what's going to happen in the Arctic in the future, so how the sea ice is going to change. We know it's changing, we we've, we've, can see that over the last 30 years we've seen the sea ice is decreasing um, and we want to know how that affects the ocean.